how's my legs look? It ain't looking all that great, so. Basically, I almost just blinded myself. Yeah, I'm legally blind. I completely forgot that I was recording. welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome to tony time today 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 i have a q a um i haven't done one of these and you guys don't really know me like people who think that they know me you don't okay you don't know me so yeah please don't act like you know me because nobody knows me and i like it that way thank you very much so i asked you guys to send me some questions and i have received quite a so I'm literally just going to go through the list and answer all these questions. Some of you guys are wild and I will not be answering your question because, no. Please like, comment and subscribe because, you know, a girl would appreciate that. If you've got any comments, put that in the comment section below. I'm gonna get into this video. Oh yeah, if you guys want the details on this look right here, I will be putting up a makeup video on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram on the screen so you guys know what it is. You can actually go check it out and all the details will be there. This wig was actually coloured and customised by my friend who is also launching her own hair business. So I will also put her Instagram on the screen so you can go check her out. She's really good, like really, really good. Yeah, let's get into the video. I'm gonna start with the, the basic questions. Um, so the first one was, what's my name? So my name's Atoni Rose. I don't like to be called Atoni, I prefer Tony. I always just thought like my mum was being extra by putting the A at the front of my name because all my life no one has been able to pronounce it. I've always got like Antony, Antonio, Anthony. Have people add like five extra letters onto my name, like Atoniano, Atoniette? No, that's not it. So just call me Tony, please, please just call me Tony. It just makes life so much simpler and I prefer it anyway. My name doesn't mean anything. Um, well, I've asked my mum this like quite a few times and she says it doesn't mean anything and she never like name me after anybody of such well at least i'm sure that's what she said i've got my name but i'm sure that's what she said i used to want to change my name to my middle name you know what i don't mind it's the name i was given um so i'm gonna keep it i'm not gonna change it i might prefer to be called tony but i'll always keep my name it's the name that i'm gonna give when i was born so i'll always love it and cherish it mama i love you p.o.p okay so i am 20 years old and i'm currently in manchester studying midwifery how am i managing my course while being under quarantine so for most people when coronavirus came about all the unis took them out locked them down um and they automatically went into the next year <laughs> not my course so what they did is they took us out which is fine because it was like one of those things where no one kind of knew what was going on so that was great because we only get two weeks for easter so we would have been back um start of april anyway so they took us out so i went home to my mom and then while i was there literally um my course leaders were literally trying to figure out what they were going to do because we're not allowed a break coronavirus or no we have stuff to do we have stuff to learn which is totally understandable but you know when you're looking at other people and their courses and you're thinking why can't they just leave us alone for a little bit like is it everyday work 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 what they decided was is that they were gonna bring us back into placement yes you heard me i will be returning to the hospital as a student to work however i don't mind doing that because you know with everything going on i'd rather help people than sit at home um like care is in my nature i've been doing it my whole life so they're going to take us back into the hospital and we're going to work as healthcare assistants because right now there is a lack of healthcare assistants in the hospitals, not just in Manchester, but all around the UK. So they're using us as students to kind of help boost the workers in the hospital, which is absolutely fine. 
but there is also still like the uni side of things. So I still have um, uni work to do online and there's still assignments to do. Um, 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 uh, uh, um. The next question is, where did I grow up? So I was actually born in Jamaica. A lot of people think that I was actually born here in the UK. No, 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 no. I was born in Jamaica, I pretty much grew up here. Like the UK is what I know best. My passport's red. So yeah, I am technically a British citizen. I grew up in Nottingham. I still hate that city and I'm so glad I'm out. I will not be moving back home and I am not living there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Um, Manchester's quite nice. Maybe I'll say here. You know? Why did I start YouTube? Why did I start YouTube? So, so I started YouTube. I started like a year. I started two years ago now. But your girl hasn't been consistent. My bad. My bad. Um. I considered myself as a very, I considered myself an introvert, that's the word I'm looking for. I didn't really like to go out. When I went out and like socialized with people, I kind of didn't. Like everyone would be like saying, hi, hi, I'm so-and-so, what's your name? And I kind of just give them like a one-worded reply because I just felt like really uncomfortable in social situations so it was kind of like a way to bridge the gap and to get me more comfortable like speaking to people and it has worked i'm much more um outgoing now so that's great that is really good what am i doing after quarantine what's the first thing i am going to do is probably go to placement you my kid and like i'll probably be working in the hospital 7 30 till half nine and not have time to do anything like that's my life that's the reality of it but if i had a choice i would spend the day just being out so i think i'd like i don't know meet up with all my friends definitely go to nando's maybe have like a little brunch date have some cocktails just sit out and enjoy the weather kind of thing i want to be out and be free and be able to do what i want without having to look over my shoulders and please try to come back inside like I just want to be free. What is my favourite and worst foods? I hate olives. No. That's the first thing that comes to mind. I hate olives. They taste like poo. Okay, they don't taste nice. You people that eat olives, there's something wrong with you because how can you actually put that in your mouth and go, mmm, that tastes good. It tastes disgusting. Like, you guys are all psycho and you all need help, okay? Go get help right now why are you still here go get help my favorite food my favorite food i actually don't know what my favorite food is because i like everything apart from olives of course too many different foods come to my mind when i think of my favorite foods and that they all tend to be like caribbean meals so i really do like my curry goat and rice i like um stew peas and rice oxtail oh, oxtail i like myself some chicken soup yes yeah my biggest fear is it fair fair my biggest fear my biggest fear is not having children yeah i'm not afraid of spiders or anything like that i mean i'll scream if i see them but i wouldn't really call it fair but my biggest fear is not having children because I want to be able to have my own family one day and I feel like if I die not achieving that, I'll be quite sad. Like, yeah, that's my biggest fear. Okay, someone said this one. Um, what is one thing I have never revealed to my parents? <laughs> hi, mum. Hi, dad. How you doing? Okay, so as a Caribbean child, um, I have en um, endured, I have endured um, a few beatings. <laughs> I have, you know, it it's it's normal to um, punish your child for doing something wrong, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. It's what I've grown up, um, not really grown up with, but when I was naughty, 
I was reprimanded the right way. So there used to be um, this belt. Am I, am I wrong in saying this? There used to be this belt, yes. And this particular belt hurt like a, it hurt, yeah, this belt hurt. It was rubber on one side and um, leather on the other side. And I don't know what it, like how them people made that belt, but that belt stung when it hit your skin. Like, it hurt, it really hurt. But anyway, one day I just got tired of this belt, like, cause <laughs> I used to get sent to go get the belt. Like, it was like, a Tony, go get the belt. And it was like, oh my gosh, this belt again, here we go. So one day I took some scissors and cut the belt up and just threw it away. And then the next time I was told that Tony go get the belt, I was like, can't find it. Can't find it. So mum, you now know what happened to that belt. It's gone. You never gonna find it. <laughs> you never gonna find it. Um, what's one thing I haven't told my parents? You know what? When I say parents, I really mean my mom, and she pretty much knows everything. Like we're, we're, we have quite an open relationship, so yeah, I don't think that question applies to me. Why lying for? What is my ideal man? <laughs> my ideal man. He gotta be tall. He gotta be dark, and he gotta be handsome. Isn't that what we say these days? My ideal man, if I had to paint a picture, I don't like to say I have an ideal man because like, obviously looks count to some degree, but I'm all about personality, you see? If, if we can, if your personality is like great and we can get along and you understand me and I understand you and you're a nice person and you're giving, okay, I guess I'm missing my ideal man now. So you've got to be ambitious, um, you know? I don't want a guy that's workless because I'm not a workless person. Like, I'm not now going to go to work and then come back and give you the money because you're not doing anything in your life. Like, I won't support that. Um, you've got to be ambitious and you've got to have some kind of aspiration in life, whatever that is. Um, you've got to be giving. I'm a very caring person myself. You've got to want kids because I want me and family. You've got to get along with your parents because I think getting on with your parents is as the bible says honor your mother and father you've got to be tall you don't have to be tall you've got to be taller than me ideally ideally of the chocolate variety you know what i mean like my dark skin is <laughs> of the chocolate variety like you've got to be on the spectrum of chocolate yeah um oh you've got to have broad shoulders i like a guy with shoulders i don't know what it is but I like me some shoulders, like, <laughs> I sound like a creep, oh my gosh, but yeah, that's my ideal man, <laughs> am I single, why are you asking, it's none of your business, none of your, none of your, none of your business, this has been a very long q &A. <sighs> someone said why do I buy so many clothes, like, why is it a problem that I buy so many clothes? Is it your money that I'm spending? No. So why does it bother you? Like, can a girl just not want to buy clothes and just be able to do it? Like, I buy clothes because I like to look good. Like, maybe you should do it too. Oh, someone said, somebody said, what's my favorite drink? All of you guys that know me will probably know my answer to this. And as a Caribbean girl, my favorite drink is for my nephew. It is not strong, it doesn't taste like petrol. It is amazing. It goes in absolutely anything and it just tastes great. Okay? So do not come for my rare nephews because rare nephews is just one of those unique drinks. Okay? Thank you. Why am I um, so high maintenance? I'm not high maintenance. I just have standards. Like, yeah. I know what I want, I'm not asking for a lot. If you can't achieve bare minimum, then what am I gonna do when I'm actually expecting you to do something that's like above that? Like you're not gonna be able to rise to the occasion. 
so yeah i'm not high maintenance i just know what i want like i'm not here to have my time wasted <laughs> too excited too excited too excited is my dream husband caribbean or african i mean is this really a question like do i need to answer this because i don't want to cut off a whole continent you know what i mean or a whole country for that matter i don't want to i don't want to I'm, I'm not gonna pick no no i don't know i don't know my ideal husband is burn a boy okay okay take from that what you want to do but i'm not going to answer that question directly so someone has asked me, this is going to be my last question because the, I didn't get that many questions and a lot of them were quite repetitive and very boring so yeah I'm not going to do that but the last question was what is my skincare routine? I get this so much and I don't have a skincare routine like I wash my face with this Neutrogena spot stress control and then I rinse that off and then sometimes I'll go in with this with this nip and fab cleanser um, sometimes I like alternate I finish washing my face and then I cream it with good old E45 that's it <laughs> that's all I do I hope you have enjoyed this video it was just a little um, get to know me in a kind of session um, please like comment and subscribe i am going to be posting more videos hopefully i'll have another one next week i'm not sure what it is you know what don't hold me to that i will post more videos um so yeah just make sure you're subscribed and have your bell on so you know when that video comes out bye bye